Welcome to this video on Dynamic 365 Cloud Hosted Environment. You may have received an email from Microsoft that tells you that the RTP protocol will be removed from the tier 1 environments and in addition the tier 1 development environments will not be included in the purchase of Dynamics and we will not be able to purchase additional tier 1 environments. This means the developer VMs that we had previously and was very often used by partners for development and build will not be included in the license and there will be no tier 1 environment hosted by Microsoft anymore. So what Microsoft is suggesting is to use a cloud hosted environment. This uh, means nothing else and the developer machines are running in Azure, like before, but not on a fixed cost, but in an Azure subscription. It's a Azure subscription of the company or the subscription of your customer. So how can we do this? From the menu, we go to Cloud Hosted Environments. And the first thing is to create an Azure connector. So we click on Yes. And if you have not done it already, which you might not have done, is to authorize access to your organization and to use the ARM Resource Manager because there is a certain account that needs to be authorized. It's a Dynamics Deployment Service. This already been done by me, so I don't click again on the authorize. But what we have to do is to go to the Azure portal and give this Dynamics Deployment Service a contributor role on the subscription. So I go to Azure Portal and I'm choosing a subscription. In real life, you would go, of course, for a paid subscription. And for this example, I'm going to my uh, Visual Studio account here. And I need to allow access, contribute to access. And I'm going to search for the Dynamics Deployment Service. And now the Dynamics Deployment Service has contributed the rights on my Azure subscription. So back to my subscriptions. What I need is to copy this subscription ID here. Now I go back to LCS. And I'm going to add a connector. So I give it a name. Call it Azure One Connector and paste my subscription ID. And you have to use the Azure Resource Manager to deploy these VMs to your subscription. So next we have to authorize LCS to deploy to the subscription, which is done using a certificate. So here it is checking if the deployment service has contributed the role, which is okay. And here comes the setup and I'm going to download the certificate. Here it is. This is a certificate. And from my Azure subscription, I'm going to certificates. Upload, choose the file from the download folder. And here is the certificate. So back to LCS, going to next. And I'm going for the region West Europe because this is near to my location and click connect. And this is finalizing the Azure connector. Now that the Azure connector is created, let's go back to our cloud hosted environment. And now I'm going to create a new cloud hosted environment. 
And this is the same dialog window from the Microsoft hosted environment, so I leave this to the actual version. I'm going to deploy a developer machine. I give it a name. Teflon Cloud Hosted. From the advanced tab, you can do some configuration on disk, on SQL, on Dynamics, if you want to pin it to the menu for the users, etc. etc. This is similar to what we know from the Microsoft hosted environment. And now comes the interesting part. You have to choose the size of your machine. So you cannot use all the suggested uh, sizing here. It turned out for me in my region D13 is not supported. So I'm going, for example, to D13 V2. And please make sure to have a list at the price list. So in my case, this would be this machine here, 8 cores. And it will cost me approximately this amount here. So I accept the license terms. And I'm going to deploy this machine. Now the deployment itself takes a few minutes. So I'm going to pause this video until the machine is deployed successfully. Some time has passed and the Cloud VM is now deployed. As we can see here from the Cloud Hosted environment, the status is deployed. And similar to the Microsoft Hosted environment, we have here the link to log on to the environment. You see it is loading Dynamics in the browser. That's very similar. And when we go here and scroll down to the VM, it is opening an RDP and similar to the Microsoft hosted environment, we have here the user to access the VM, but in contrast to the Microsoft hosted environment, we have also an admin. So let's try the admin access. And here is the password. And as you can see, I'm logged on to my cloud hosted environment using my admin account. And we have also the same administrative page like in the Microsoft hosted environment. So I can here start stop the machine, deallocate the machine, apply updates, view my users, the machine, the access, it is monitoring the actual update status so down here, which quality update could be applied. So it's very similar to the Microsoft hosted environment. The only contrast is that is running now in my Azure subscription. So one word of caution here, because it is running on an Azure subscription, make sure you only use the machine when you're working on it and stop the machine when you don't need it. Just to make sure the costs are not running out of your budget.